What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. <sighs> Young Jeezy and Jeannie Mai, listen, this, this messy divorce is just ramping up in my personal opinion. And I don't know why people go on DJ Vlad and they're talking about other people. You you know what I mean? It's just weird to me that he does interviews with people. I don't listen to him, but every now and then I might hear a clip about something and, you know, I listen to the clip, but (laughs) he does these interviews with people and it's like, because he can't get to the actual person, he will speak to the by proxy person or the sixth degrees of separation person to ask about that person. And it's just really funny to me that these people actually share. They don't say, you know, I don't really have anything to say about that. Or, you know, that's none of my business or I'm not involved in it. That's not my relationship. You know, they're like sitting there (laughs) willfully sharing. So that's the part that really baffles me. But Young Jock, we know him more from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta more so now than his musical career, but we know he used to be signed to Bad Boy and Diddy, so that explains a lot right there, right? <laughs> anyway, he was asked about Jeezy divorce and Jeannie Mai, and Young Jock, he had a few things to say. Although Jeezy had a certain level of success in certain things he has not done in his career. That puts him at that pinnacle, pinnacle. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he he felt like, you know, now's the time that I could share this world with somebody on a real level. But I need a candidate who's not going to fight me, who's not going to go against me, who's going to let me lead, who would allow me to be who the fuck I am. And I think she, she, she sold that for him. She gave him that. But then after they got married, she didn't have a job no more. They got a new baby. He on the road promoting a new fucking album. And it ain't like it's a shabby promotion of a new album. This Jeezy. This nigga got a catalog. This nigga got hits. So when he going out on a tour, even if it's a promo tour for the new album, it's a concert. This nigga got hits. I want to pause it right there because it's like, listen, everybody has their taste, but I, I, I'm, I've never been into Young Jeezy's music at all. I, I don't. I can't even stand his voice, to be honest with you. I. Anyway, I know some people feel that he leveled her up, but I said this before when the news came out about their divorce, and I still feel this way. My thoughts have not changed on this. She was his crossover in my personal opinion. At the time when they married, yes, she was on a hit TV show, The Real. That gave him crossover appeal. I never said he was broke, but I said that she leveled him up in a number of ways and gave him crossover appeal. No one can deny that. I don't care what anyone says. People can have the rights to their opinions, but that definitely is a true thing. Was he writing books before he got with her? Let's be, let's be for real. So him sitting there acting like Jeezy did her a favor. See, this is the type of stuff that bothers me when it comes to these low life characters who talk about relationships and divorce, especially those that got a freaking kennel of kids spread out (laughs) across the nations or just your city because young jock is like a notorious baby daddy that has like how many kids so give me a break to sit here and discuss people's marriage relationships even though he is married and that still baffles me himself but let's just be clear he he married someone that leveled him up in a way too because he married an attorney. I don't know what she was thinking, but I guess in some instances, I don't believe love is blind, but in some instances, some people, they see that as love and they have their blinders on. 
But for him to sit there and he's had all of this vitriol that he's speaking, when it comes to that, it's like, whoa, what did she do to you? Could drop 30 bangers back to back. Then after the album, guess what? He's on a book tour type shit. Nah, this the guy living his life and come home to probably some old calm or what he want to be calm. But he like, she like, no, I need you here. I need to do this, did that. Hey, don't tell him what the fuck they got going on. You just never know. And it might not turn out to be what he thought it was and vice versa. Mm. Vice versa. You know, because I don't tell her what type of negative backlash she hear. She did an old interview and she was, um, <laughs> you know, she was married to a white dude once before. She said that she liked her white meat, but she liked her dark meat on the side. Yeah. Turns out she was married to her first husband, her ex-husband for 10 years. Yeah, you know what I mean? And they got divorced because he didn't want to have a baby with her. Mm-hmm. She get married to Jeezy, they have a kid, and still end up getting divorced. Mm-hmm. It ain't hard. It's what's it's, it's easy. She want she she met, she typically wanted to marry white for the status of it, for the classification of it. That's understood. Okay, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But she's willing to date black on the side. Black on the side is gonna give her a taste of of what she doesn't get in her regular life. This is like right now. There's some people who vacation for a living and work part-time. That's a 1%. And there's some people who work for a living and vacation part-time. That's the average. You follow where I'm going? No. (laughs) Oh, my God. Now, that was funny. But... I I get what he's saying when he's talking about that. But listen, he knew that he knew that how she felt and knew that was something that she said and knew that she was married to a white man before. But like I said, he married her for the benefits as well. So don't make it seem like he was the prize. Yeah, he has money and yeah, he's got real estate and whatever. But it's not like he was this pinnacle character of you know the consummate amazing man to marry she settled so it's like i'll work part-time and vacation on the side the black guys like the the, the, the black man so at that point in her life when she made a statement was possibly like the vacation this is the this the this the this this yep, is to yep. set my future up and i'll vacation on the side Got you. Okay. But it's different when you vacation for a living. Mmm. You know, John. It don't have the same. You, you a prolific young man. Like, what like, trying to I tell love y'all, sitting man. there. Appreciate like, that. usually, I'm right there with you. I, I, I don't know what's happening. Like, like, I couldn't keep up, like, forgive me. Think about that was so prolific and well said on your part. Good job, Jock. I get it. it. That's just like you, you, you know, when you got somebody who got a little money that could do the good drugs on the side, they last a lot longer than the person who has the big money and could do the, the, the good drugs on the oh, regular mm-hmm, all the time. All the time. Because it's, it's an OD thought process. It's a quick burnout. Like, the Jeezy probably gave her that, 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 that energy sheen. Like, oh, I just, just give me a, it give me a, ooh, I'm in the no, I'm in the, I'm in the, but then when you live it all the time, you realize, like, you can't handle him the same way you handle that white man, possibly. You mm-hmm. can't say the shit you say to this man, and he gonna act the same way. Honey, why would you say that? Bitch, who you talking to? <laughs> and I ain't saying Jesus, no, no, bitch. <laughs> Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. And listen, the, <laughs> I, I said she settled. I wouldn't be surprised if things like that were happening in the household behind closed doors because people like her, they are about the image. And so he was the one that pressed the divorce button and not her. So I do believe that it made her feel a certain way because she was willing to try to work it out. But now she's just like, you know, I do, I did, I'm done. 
so let's divorce. Let's let's do this. I don't really know if she's going to get out of it what she's looking to get, but I believe that he was dirty in a number of ways for how he handled things. And then he had that statement that someone wrote for him, in my personal opinion, that he released several days ago talking about the divorce and, you know, how he didn't make this decision lightly or whatever the heck, you know, was said. And it's just like, whatever. But it is kind of comical to me to hear this guy saying that Young Jock is a prolific speaker. I'm not even going to play any more of that. But, you know, he's, you know, saying things like she wanted to marry White for the status and, you know, and she was willing to date the Black. But that's what makes me believe that because Young Jock knew that, he married her for the benefits of it and them having this child and him filing for divorce and asking for joint custody. It's a control play because he knows that she wouldn't be living in Atlanta. She would rather be back in LA. The woman is a hustler. She's been working for years. I remember years ago when the E network had the sister network, the style network And she used to be on there for years. I remember seeing her a lot. You know what I mean? I didn't really know who she was, but I I was seeing her a lot. And then this show, The Real, came about and they tested her and the several other people for it. And she wound up getting that show. And so she got way more attention than she ever had before. So him making it seem like Jeezy wasn't, how do I say this? She was about that life. And then after settling down, having a baby and whatever, now she wasn't down for whatever. It Then Jeezy should have never gotten married. He should have never gotten married. And she never should have married him. Look, she made that choice. I'm not sitting here and saying that I feel sorry for her, but I do feel sorry for the baby. I definitely do feel sorry for that child because, you know, in my personal opinion, her her daughter is getting the same man that those babies' moms that they have receive. She just unfortunately has to go through more hell in the situation because she actually married him and now is going through a divorce. You know what I mean? And so... We sh- we shall see what comes of this because I, I I'm just honestly I'm kind of at a loss for words, but in my personal opinion, I believe that he never really completely stopped living the type of life that he was living, screwing around and messing around with other chicks. He may have put it on pause for a brief time. But I believe if you listen to the interview, a number of things that Young Jock was implying was that they may have had this wild, freaky lifestyle and then she started to change a bit, not maybe immediately after they got married, but definitely when the child came along and then the mom moved in and I think someone said that the brother moved in the house too and so... They probably live in that wild swinger lifestyle or whatever. Not saying she was swinging, but who knows what was going on, you know, between the sheets and behind the closed doors when it comes to that lifestyle. And honestly, I don't even want to know. So, yeah, keep keep it. Keep it between you, you all. But I believe that those are things that she probably may have been okay with. Because I do remember... um, there was this Instagram video, and I never followed them on social media, but there was this Instagram video of she and him, and this was probably before they got married, and he was playing his music loud, blasting, they were in the convertible top down, and she's, you know, sitting there, you know, singing with him, and, you know, acting like she's down with the music and whatever, and um, and somebody made a call. <laughs> Somebody made a comment saying, 
you must be singing on that mic, you know, and and she responded and said, yes, sir. And I was like, this is not even her, but okay, <laughs> move along. And so I just feel that I, I think that she downgraded and also allowed some things to be for the sake of trying to appear to be in this happy relationship, willing to try to make it work. He definitely isn't all that. And, you know, the money helps, of course. But this is what you get. She should have never married that man. Should have never married that man. He's never and probably never will be marriage material. So I wish you well. I wish you well. Hope everything works out for you. But more so works out for that baby. So anyway, guys, yeah, Young Jock, he's definitely implying that Young Jeezy was out here in these streets and he's living the life and she wanted him to settle down. But usually that's what you do when you get married. So what the heck did he expect? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.